Hey there, this is Darren LaCroix. Welcome to day 54, I think it is. I'll have to go double check. Hey, the secret ingredient to captivating. What is that? Whether it's telling your story, whether it's you on stage, what really is the secret ingredient? And a lot of people don't consider this, but it's one of the most important things that I think I do that I set just before I go on stage. I usually do it when I do a video like this, but sometimes, honestly, I forget. But think about the most compelling presenters you've ever seen, the most compelling storytellers you've ever heard. What do they do? What's that underlying ingredient? And what are the, what's the difference between that and let's just say that perfect person on stage, that, that person who makes no mistakes and they're flawless and you really can't find anything wrong with them except this one thing. What is that one thing? It is the most important part of your presentation. When I think of, let's say, unpolished speakers who have a message that they care about that may not be trained well, uh, they may not have had a lot of experience, um, they may not be good. But when they talk, you just lean in and want to hear more. What is it? And then there's those, again, those polished people who you can't really find anything wrong except this one thing. What is that one thing? Tell us, Darren. I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you're curious to watch this far in the video because my phone just died. Um, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But it is intention intention. You need to set your intention so your audience can tell you're there for them. That they can tell that you care about getting your message across. That the message matters when it gets delivered. It's not about you being the speaker of the day or you getting a trophy or you. It, it's nothing more than the intention of having a message that they care about that they can't wait to get across and they want you to walk away with it. And they're putting the message above the messenger. I remember hearing Mark Brown tells this story, one of my favorite stories of he had worked so hard on his championship speech that when they were getting ready to introduce him, he was literally, so it's a, it's a staircase uh, with handrails on the staircase that goes up to the championship stage that year. And he said, I, I had a gift I couldn't wait to give. That I worked so hard on this and I couldn't wait to give the gift to the audience. And so he literally had his hands on the handrail. And when they were getting ready to introduce him, he was trying to like hold himself back. And when they finally did introduce him, he launched himself onto the stage. When, if you've seen my championship speech, and I know chances are you may have, if you go watch it again on YouTube, there'll be this moment when I walk off stage, uh, as I'm walking off stage, when the speech is over, that I just, uh, I do one of those fifth bumps. It's not because I knew I had one. I had no clue. It, all I knew is I came to deliver the message. Uh, or I delivered the message I came to deliver. It wasn't about me. Man, it was fun. But part of the reason it was fun is because I felt that connection. Part of the reason I felt that connection we put, was because of the secret ingredient, which is intention. So before you get on stage, before you sit down to do a video, one of the key questions that I ask myself is, what is my intention? I want to get clear on that helping the audience, that they can sense my heart. That's why that polished salesperson, uh, that polished presenter who makes uh, no mistakes, no flaws, seems to be compelling. But inside, you know they're either trying to sell something or they're making it about them being the best speaker, the best presenter of that conference. When you set your intentions for the audience focus, it takes so much pressure off. Because it's not about you, because you're focused on here's what I want. I want them to get it. Because you know that when you take the stage, when you have that opportunity to tell your story, you've got this, this tiny little opportunity to influence, if you will. And whatever you did before is really important. Whatever you do after uh, is not so important for that moment. 
But for those moments, for that little point in time, whether it's 15 minutes, whether it's a two minute Facebook message, or whether it's a one hour keynote speech, like all your preparation can be for naught if you don't set your intention. Because otherwise your mind is focused on getting the right words across, remembering your order. Uh, am I in the right lighting? Will I remember this story? Will I remember to do this gesture at this certain point in time? When if I'm more focused on they get this, everything's gonna fall together. And every delivery should be a little different based on your audience. And it's gonna be based on the audience that day, that moment, and how you are connected to them in that moment. And they sense it. The audience has this like, you know, the BS meter. I love when I spoke in Australia uh, and New Zealand and they were telling me like, look, we have BS meters and you American speakers, they usually go off on. Greatest compliment ever I got from Tony, one of the uh, past NSA or PSA presidents in Australia. He said, you're doing it right. And that's the greatest compliment that people sense the intention. So for you, for your two minute Facebook message, for your 10 minute speech, for your one hour speech, set your intention. Ask yourself, ground yourself, what is my intention? That is a secret ingredient to being captivating. Because when you do that, and your heart is for them, you will captivate. Inspire by example, tell your story. Share this if you liked it, if it made sense to you. Comment if it hit a chord. But most of all, set the intention to be captivating. See you tomorrow.